probability distrib distribution table and I'm going to answer some question below based on this probability distribution table. So what is probability of 1? What We have to look for it actually and what is probability 1 or 4? So we're going to look for that by using some formulas and also probability less than 3 and we're going to look for that. Well, so let's take a look here. What is given versus how we find or create probability distribution table. So this is a random discrete random variable x under the x this is the list as you see counting numbers and this is the frequency 200 500 and those are the frequencies. So I can actually tell this is a frequency distribution table if you have list and the frequency this is a frequency distribution table. Now notice that we learn earlier how to find the relative frequency how to find the proportion so those are basically concept we are using it actually here those are technically the same thing we're going to do here but we're going to call this time probability distribution table okay so probability distribution table now zero up to four and these are some numbers appearance as you see frequency now how can we find the probability of x or proportion? It's basically this 200 over the total. So if we use any calculator, which I did ahead of time actually, if I take, use any calculator, it should give me 1424. You can check out with any calculator. Then of course, 200 over 1424. So what I can do, I can just put down here, 200 200 over 1424 1424 and that would approximately give me if I use any calculator it's going to approximately give me 0 0.140 so let's take a look here if I use the calculator here any calculator 200 divided by 1424 so 0 0.140 well this number is less than 5 so approximately 1.40 now I'm going to keep doing it actually I'm going to keep keep doing the same thing 500 as you see 500 over same total that's the total 1424 that's the total and I'm going to do 300 same thing I'm going to do here 300 over that and at the same time I can actually find approximately what is there to the right side as you see 0.351 is 35.1 percent and this one is going to give me approximately 21.1 percent and this one 134 over 1424 and approximately it should give me point zero nine four and this one 290 again same pattern 290 over 1424 approximately 2.04 so notice that these are the decimal we are actually interested in so probability you can round to two decimal places also okay and probably two decimal places is fine too all right so all this to the right side is basically the probability we just look into. Now we are ready actually to get the answer. So again, look at the color code. 200 goes top, 500 goes on top, 300 goes on top, and 134 goes on top, 290 goes on top. And remember, we are going to divide by the total. So sometimes we referred earlier, that is the sum of frequency. And also that is equal to N, total N. So you can say, f over n we can actually do general rule of probability that would give us this so now we are ready to look into the question what is the question probability of one so here you go probability of one so if you look into here probability of one is clearly right here so probability of one we clearly have this one here so we're just gonna bring it down here so probability of one which is 0 0.351 approximately, or you convert into percentage 
percent based on the question asked. You just adjust it. Now next one, probability of one or four. So earlier we learned this one will give us a formula. So it seems like these are one and four. They are independent. One has nothing to do with the four. They are basically two different outcomes. They are not intersecting. This one and this one, they are not intersecting. This is another one. So this is one and this is four. And one is here and four is there. Let's see. It. Okay. Now, the probability of one or four, since they are independent, we can use the addition rule. So probability of one plus probability of four. This is addition rule. If two events are independent, we can just add their outcome. So if we do so, we're going to have a 0 0.351 plus 0 0.204 and that would give us 0 0.551 approximately and again I did ahead of time you can check out with any calculator it should give you the same thing okay now let's take a look on the next one probability of x less than 3 so x less than 3 these are the x but less than 3 3 is not included so what do we do here we just add these three outcome in other words these three we are going to add 1 2 3 0 1 2 these are less than 3 so we are looking into interested more interested on those so let's have it here this one this one this one are less than three so that one that one that one is less than three so we just add those three outcome so if you add those three outcome zero point one zero four plus zero point three five one plus zero point two one one that would give us 0.702 or 70.2 percent or 70.2 percent is okay so again how we get this first we found the probability by adding the total and dividing and then once we found our probability distribution now we can answer easily as you clearly see probability of 1 is exactly so exactly probability of 1 exactly 1 so we go down here 0 0.351 and 1 or 4 this is the independent event 2 events so you just add their outcome and x less than 3 so it have to be less than 3 so we go on the bottom here I mean on the left side as you see add all those 3 that's how you find the probability distribution and their corresponding answer.